Hi, I am Jan from the Czech Republic and this is Nikon Z30, which is a rather specific camera. It has no viewfinder, but let's find out if it still makes sense or not to use it primarily for taking photos. I suggest we start with a rather obvious claim which is Nikon Z30 is very similar to amazing camera called Nikon ZFC. You can see it here side by side with my private favorite Nikon FM2 analog camera. But back to the FC. It really is amazing one because it has viewfinder. Well, this is the simple biggest difference because uh, obviously Nikon Z30 has no viewfinder, but then there are basically no other essential differences. So we can count on a very, very good lens. It's surprising, it's a kit lens, but it still works great. Then we can count on a very, very good autofocusing. Again, even when, when you use it in combination with auto tracking of eyes or heads of animals, like here, when we have Flo the dog, uh, you will be really surprised how well it works. Truth is that the weather is cloudy, so you can even use your display and see something which would not be the case under direct sunshine. And you can see that, again, the details are just amazing. You can even see me on that zoomed photo. So I really think we can count on uh, that camera. And then we have the other reason why you might like it, which is just that the size of it is very reasonable. And you can just pack it, you can just hide it into your backpack and just go to the forest uh, just <laughs> behind Prague, like uh, like me. So for, for those who like small, cheap cameras, that might be the option. And uh, in many situations like here, you can easily live without the uh, viewfinder. And now just a couple of product photos to give you a chance to see different dials and buttons and all those little things which makes your life easier. We do not have to go into details, but I was really testing that camera for a week quite intensively and believe me that it's quite easy to operate, it's very handy and you can set anything you want within seconds. And then you have the kit lens 16 to 50, which uh, photographers generally do not like, and they say that only prime lenses are great. But look at this you can collapse the, the lens, you can just make it much smaller, and for, well, traveling or walks in the forest, it's just really useful and handy. Two more numbers. Um, you can do up to 11 frames per second uh, when, for instance, shooting sport. And ISO can be pushed up to 24,800. And uh, perhaps let's forget about details and let's go to the streets of Prague just to test how good or bad, obviously good, the photos from that camera would be. And uh, let's go to the gardens under the Prague castle. And uh, again, you can see the typical scenes which are to be used in combination with that camera. It means uh, travel photos, family photos, all those things where you are just very happy that you have a relatively small camera, which can be just forgotten, <laughs> as I like to say, in your backpack. And again, you can see some interesting details. Uh, many beginners just love their camera to be able to operate with that depth of field. So yes, you can, <laughs> uh, you can uh, manage uh, photos like this and it actually looks quite nice. So if you like uh, taking a lot of details, a lot of flowers, a lot of uh, parliament buildings like here, you'll be probably satisfied. And one more test, something I call peacock test. Uh, there, are, there is a lovely garden with a lot of peacocks on the Prague castle and I just like to go there with different cameras and I like to test uh, how the uh, autofocusing works and how, for instance, the eyes detection uh, works. Uh, in this case, you can see, again, it, not only the autofocus works good, but again, we can say that the lens just really, really is able to draw really nice picture and many details. 
Yes, and uh, there is a, the question I'm trying to avoid, and the question is, well, if there is a direct sunshine, do you see a lot on the display? And the fair uh, reply is uh, no. If you really go uh, to the streets of Prague and there is a lot of sun, uh, you won't really see much on your display. But again, it's a part of the game. If you just wait for sun to set, you'll see those amazing photos from Blue Hour in Prague, the capital of the Czech Republic. Here are a couple of examples, and again, you'll see that these photos are nice. Please do not be too critical over the trams being somehow in motion. That's what I wanted. I, I just wanted to capture the atmosphere of the city on the move. And the results are really nice, as you can see. Well, let's uh, see a couple of examples of different ISO levels. We start here at 1600 and we go to the incredible number of 24,800, which is, uh, well, absolutely unusable. But as an interesting example, I think it makes sense. So from that uh, huge level, we go back and back and back. And I, I have to admit that at certain level, I think um, the level at around... 12,800, um, as you'll see in the example, it is somehow useful and usable. Well, yes, if uh, you, uh, well, you can see it here, if you even zoom in these levels, it, uh, it might work. Obviously, it all depends on your personal taste and experience. Couple of more examples of photos from that camera. As you can see, the results are very, very decent. Yet, we have to admit that if the sunshine is really flood flooding everything around you, you won't see much on the display. Yes, it's a part of the game, but it can really be annoying and we just should say it. Anyway, just to balance that <laughs> tough sentence, uh, the kit lens just will not let you down. Oh, and look at this, the, the mushroom is moving. That's because we are now watching some sample footage. Well, as I mentioned, I'm not a big specialist in video, so please do not take me too seriously. These are just, uh, well, examples of uh, how uh, the camera is able to record videos. And please uh, know that I am uh, not using tripod, so these shots made just under Prague Castle are a little bit shaking. I should say that that is the the maximum 4K footage and uh, the, the frame rate is 30 frames per second, so the maximum we can get from this camera. And again, just uh, <laughs> one peacock test and the ability of uh, the autofocusing systems to capture eye and capture what we really want to have. So, to sum it up, I'm really convinced that Nikon Z30 can serve also as a very good camera used primarily for taking photos. And it'll be loved by your family members as a great tool for family trips and travels. So, thank you so much for your attention. My name is Jan, I'm from Prague, Czech Republic. Good luck!